welcome. This is a new Plugin Guru Tuesday tip video. My name is John Skippy Limical. Hands together, head bowed. Glad you could make it. I hope you are all doing well and being safe. These are the craziest times. I never imagined we would be what we were doing and what we're going through. So I hope you're all doing well. Today's Tuesday tip is number five. And I'm really excited for this one. This is going to be showing you a new MIDI effect plugin we just released last week. Version 1.0.12 has Polybox. And Polybox is a pretty mighty powerful little box. Here's without it. I just have it switched. Now just playing um, one FM DX, FM synthesis bass patch. Right? And then I've told Polybox to have a pool of 16, which means 16 layers. Each one is on a different MIDI channel all the way up to number 16. And let me hit reset so you can see it do its thing. You only see it do for half of it. It's going to go away, but I'll play a note. And let's turn it on. One, here we go. And it takes off. And it just runs down the list of 16 layers, playing them. If you play a chord, it's going to play three of those layers at a time, whenever it needs to play a chord. And that's determined, of course, inside of Blue Art. Chords are here. Now, we originally designed and thought of Polybox before we had a name for it, everything, just the concept for it. And the goal for it was to be able to play monophonic synthesizers polyphonically, meaning a synthesizer that only has one voice to it and you can't play chords, you can't even play two notes, right? In software, that's really a software limitation just written into the code. It's not a physical limitation to say it can only play one note. Um, Back here, this is my Moog Voyager. It's set up with lots of circuitry inside of it to make one voice. And that's all it can do. It can't do any more. But in software, you can do more if you wanted to. Uh, but there's certain plugins that have been designed to be monophonic. And so that's cool. There's certain advantages to being monophonic. Not, not putting down monophonic at all. But we have found a way to take any monosynth and make it polyphonic. And so let me show you about that. And then we eventually get back here to this whole crazy stuff you see here. Um, with version 1.0.12, a couple other cool features real quickly. We have CPU meters that you can turn on that you see down here. These down here are like the, the bottom left one is your global. And if I have everything turned on and going crazy and the kick and the pad, it still doesn't matter. It's still going What's for lunch, right? It's super efficient how we have Unify dialed in. It's working with your processors in a really cool way. This is our most stable update. It's got some nice fixes for iLock and eLicenser and all sorts of cool things. So um, people are very, very happy, from what I can tell. If you go over here to Tags, this is probably the easiest way to tell for sure that you have these patches in here. As you'll see a 1.0.12. If you don't see that, then you need to download this file, the Unify Content 1.0.12 update.guru. And by getting this and then just dragging this over Unify and saying, okay, it will add and modify settings and all it needs to do so that you will now see that you have a 1.0.12 under tags. Now, you want to call up this patch right here. This is Synth Polybox 1X template. This is the template for getting monophonic synths to be polyphonic. And I have, we don't have a mono synth inside of Unify, but I have the Guru Sampler set up to be mono legato. <laughs> Means it can only play one voice. Let's make it a sine wave so it sounds a little bit pretty. Right? Well, it's currently set to four layers, which means if you double click, the pool size is set to four. Let's turn off bypass. And all you have to do is go to this little side bullet on this layer and say, give me three of the next MIDI channels. And it will make three, and each one it automatically advances the MIDI channel. So that's one, two, three, four. And now, let's hit reset, so we start at the top. Mm -hmm. 
Cool. I'm now playing a monophonic synth as a polyphonic synth with four voices of polyphony. If I play more than four voices, certain notes get cut out. That's why we gave you the ability to have your pool size increase up to 16. If I said 16, here's a cool shortcut. Hold down Option or Alt and say Init. And what that does is that deletes all of the layers beyond one, keeps one intact, doesn't change anything on one, so it's the same as you left it. So that way we can start this all over again. But this time, instead of Guru Sampler, let's do something a little more adventurous. So I'm going to bypass Polybox. I'm going to go over here. In my favorites is Repro 1. It's a favorite synthesizer of mine. I did a library that you can find at PluginGuru.com. By the way, PluginGuru.com is my website where you can also get Unify. If you don't have Unify and you would like to have Unify, you can buy it here. There's a demo version you can download and try for free, which sounds really cool. It gives you all the abilities. It doesn't have Polybox in it, but it'll get you to where you can scan in your plugins, play with all your plugins, play with the patches that it comes with. And that's, I think, 42 patches inside of the demo version. There's 436 now inside of the full version of Unify. So it's PluginGuru.com. With Repro, this is one of the libraries that I sell at my website. It's called the Repro Power Pack. And it comes actually with patches both for uh, the RP1, which is the monophonic, as well as Repro 5, which is their polyphonic synth. I like these lead sounds. They're really nice. and. I like that one in particular. Let's do this. Let's get so that I can get it. Let's see what that would sound like, but not four voices or 16. That's too many. Let's just say eight voices. So just say pool of eight, turn on polybox. And now, since I have it set to eight, if I was to play this without making the layers, it plays one time and then it plays seven times of silence. Right? But if I go over here and I say seven of the duplicates of that. I now have an eight voice polyphonic RP1. And just so you know, it's kind of cool. And the tricky part is each note is played and sent out to a different MIDI channel, but the pitch bend and the modulation wheel and controllers are sent just to all MIDI channels instead of just to one of them. That way, when you do pitch bend and modulation, it sends it out on all MIDI channels and unifies so that it sounds like it's a cohesive one synthesizer, even though it's playing um, eight different synthesizers to do that. Now, the cool thing about this, it's eight layers, and as I showed you, it cycles through eight different layers, right? So you can change the panning. If you wanted to do some more, like, really more uh, analog-y, you know, it actually does nice stereo width things. Also take it farther by having each layer be a completely different plugin, different patch from the same plugin, whatever you want. This is a sandbox. That's why all of our plugins, noise box, poly box, we have one coming out soon called MIDI box. They're boxed because it's like a sandbox. We want to add more things to this and it's a place for you to play and experiment, get your plugins together and work with them in new ways than you have before. So with this, you can now say, what if I had this plugin and this plugin and this plugin and then find different similar sounds? I did some fun things like this is DreamPad, where it's four different layers that are kind of similar in tonality, but they're four different patches, four different samples.
Then I added a layer to the pad. Uh, baby's dancing is So they're different sounds but of similar tonalities you get some really cool Piano player, you have a harp, you have a guitar player. <laughs> All these guys just hanging out, waiting to play this one note at a time, right? Pretty cool. And then, as you can see, I'm playing very rhythmically to have it bouncing. And... Well, that obviously leads to being something that the, the arpeggiator, that type of a direction, would be really fun. So here's Polybox to kind of take into the extreme. This is. 16 layers of 16 different patches of DX7 sounds. And let's turn off the blue art at first so you can hear. Right? Let's turn on the blue art, but let's turn off Polybox. So now you don't hear anything but the first layer. So that's the art pattern. That's this pattern right here. Those are chords, so each time that plays, it can play up to five voices of chords. Now let's turn on Polybox. Cool, huh? It's cycling through those 16 layers. Have a kick drum. Yeah, hey. Bring up a pad. the mod controls it gets even more cooler and then there's this library from airwave check this out we're going to be releasing this in the next probably 48 hours can't wait for this to come out one new thing that we added to unify is the ability it could do this before but now it's just a quick step to go right here and say empty unify and that means down here at the end of the list, number 19, number 19 is a whole other Unify. Let's go to Melodic Techno. This is the new library from Airwave. BPM Split. Check this out. So let's, uh, oh my gosh, we got some new stuff here. It's really cool. But let's go to Hernan's Favorite. And then I'm going to hold down Option to get rid of the kick drum, which is right here. I'm going to turn it down a bit because it's really loud. And I'm going to take this pad up an octave and uh... so there's Polybox playing 16 DX7s plus seven layers of serum played by seven different arpeggiators all in one unify. playing five, six note chords. <laughs> and look at the CPU meters. It's using, remember, I'm recording to video at the same time right now. And still, so Unify is a pretty special little son of a gun. I'm really, really happy with how this is turning out. And we're just started. I mean, if you saw some of the stuff we're working on for the next couple of updates, it's very exciting. So more will be revealed with time. Just hang out. Uh, get this update. Get Unify if you don't have it. It's, it, it's a place to let you play with all your plugins. Hope you liked this video. Hope this helped you. Remember, Polybox 1X is the template to start with to turn any monophonic synth polyphonic. Okay? So, there. Polybox. Something you should get to know about and have fun with because it lets you play with all your plugins in a whole new way. Okay? Ready, set, go. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.